Hi to Chaco. You can also dispel the the frost armor, right? Which is a, a big pain in the ass for Orc normally as well. So if you can dispel both the curse and uh, this and the frost armor, it would be very nice. Very nice. Uh, here we have a death knight. We have some ghouls over here. We have a demon hunter. We have some archers. We have an acolyte. Demon hunter is out. Create more moves. This rogue is going to die. He pick picks up the manual of health. Now this rogue is going to die. Eventually. There. Now this renegade wizard is going to die. Meanwhile, the death knight creeping over here. Baron Bloodmane. Gets a mantle of intelligence. It's uh that's the best item of course for the Lich later. Now let's go for this level five. Three ghouls here, two skeletons. Perfect. Let's go to Halls of the Dead. So, uh, is he going to harass with some ghouls? That's the question. He's definitely going to creep here to level 2. Uh, wait, what? No, only one crypt. We have three, five ghouls here, some skeletons. Level 2. Circlet, also pretty good. Not as good as Claws of the Deck, though. At least for the undead. For the for the night elf, you rather have the circlet. And let's see, nice skill there on the skeleton. And we have a whisper being hunted down by a skeleton. And some skeletons falling apart. Do we have a hunter's hole? Where's the hunter's hole? Not yet. Guess he still has the time. Timing isn't there yet. Build it, uh, he can build it later. Okay, he's going for this level 5. Uh, coils is cool. Sobby Mask. Oh, that's a nice one. Sobby Mask is really good in this matchup. It's actually the, the best one, right? Maybe the, the plus six intelligence is better, but I don't know the math exactly. But uh, it's definitely one of those. It has to be the best one. Definitely taking a, a bit of damage there. What was the ghoul? He's, uh, he's out of coils for now. In fact, especially if he gets mana burned one more time. If he doesn't get mana burned, there's a the mana burn. 11 mana, the archer hides. Demon Hunter, he wants his ghoul, look at his ghoul. No, blocks it with his other ghoul. The ghoul is still alive, but... Can he get some attacks in? Keeps blocking it. Demon Hunter just trying his best here. There's one more ghoul left to, to try to block. And there, the Demon Hunter does not get that ghoul. He's now going for another ghoul. Dealing, dealing a lot of damage. He's got 42 HP. Does he have mana? No mana. Oh! He tried to block it, he tried. He didn't even try to deny it. He thought maybe he still had the chance there to save the ghoul, but the ghoul went down. The graveyard is up. And the panda is out. Okay, I love the panda, of course. Instead of that stupid Naga that we see Czech sometimes play. Panda, much better. Angel of Lore coming up. Okay, he needs this, uh, he does have level 3 Demon Hunter yet, though. Well, at the moment, he knows the Death Knight is out of mana anyway. Lich, where's the Lich? Well, there's no Lich yet. Slaughterhouse. Panda's creeping over here. He's gonna kill some trolls, he's gonna kill some Sasquatches. Sasquatches. One Sasquatch. Demon Hunter, can I get the mana burn off? Yes. Easy peasy. That's what I want to say. And there it is. Mana burn. But with another uh, close of haste, a pretty good item there. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. First is happy, panda is bad. First happy you need to kill you need Naga. I don't believe that at all because 
There's only two Night Elves that, that win against Happy. And both those Night Elves play Panda. Most of the time. Right? Only Life and Colorful. Beat Happy consistently. And that's only when they play Panda. Last time Life played Naga, he even lost against Happy. And look at this game. Chex is just gonna win this with the Panda. Maybe. <laughs> no, I, d I still don't believe uh, Chex is going to win this game. Even though he went Panda. You, you you might say that, but I've never seen anyone with the Naga consistently win against Happy. And I've seen people play uh, win consistently against uh, Happy with the Panda, so... Right. So I just believe the Panda's much better. Especially against Happy. Right, because... Life and Colorful, they don't beat 120. Consistently. Uh, by the way, he almost got the Demon Hunter there, but it was really it's really nice uh, Harass here broke the Demon Hunter with just level 1 mana burn. Because he did manage to get rid of all the mana and survive, not die. Uh, the expansion, when is the expansion timing? Not yet. He still has plenty of time. He has his level 3 Panda. He does have his Dryads out. Demon Hunter just healing. We have uh, Dryad getting Dispels. We have uh, Bears, Adept Bears here. Pretty soon. Scourge, Bone Chimes. I don't like that item at all. Really wanted a Sobi Mask or Intelligence Items or even... No, nah, maybe not Boots of Crotalas. I mean, it's not a bad one, I guess. But a mana item would have been better here. Uh, White Panda. With Panda, I see Foggy lose all the time and he makes perfect... Ma Dude, Foggy always loses against Happy. Doesn't matter if he goes Naga or, or Panda. Foggy also loses with the Naga. He shouldn't... Foggy is not very good against Happy, so he's not an example of how to beat Happy. He's like an example of how to lose to Happy. There goes the shade. But I see Remite. Remite is also very bad against the uh, Undead. He might go 5 archers, 3 Dryad, Naga, Demon to level 3 in her ass. Have you seen the, the Remind versus Happy Games we saw last week? I don't think so. Remind versus Happy Games were so one sided. Research finished. I did I did see one game, I think, where Remind won against Happy with the Naga. It was one game. Uh, the shade now with the ghouls killing this center ward. Hey, uh, Ori game. He beat 120. Uh, maybe that's the game I think I saw. Remind first 120. Instead of Remind first happy. Oh, beautiful breath of fire. One of mana stealing. I mean, it's not... I mean, I'm not saying you can't win with the Naga. There's def definitely certain uh, situations where Naga is better. But in general, if nothing special happens in the early game, I think Panda is almost every better every time. Maybe there's a few maps where Naga is better, on like Echo Isles maybe. But even there, I see Life usually just playing Panda. Sometimes he does go Naga though. There was a nice mana burn there on the death. Oh, you look at the Breath of Fire! Invisible Breath of Fire. I see he might win first 120, but you saw him win one game and then he lost like 20 games. Remind is, uh, I can show you Remind stats against Undead after the game because he is uh, he's very bad against Undead. This is worst matchup. This uh, Phosphorum is still alive. In your opinion, Elf players have problem with first Undead? Or race have a problem. I I don't think they have a problem in general. I think uh, there's no problem really. It's just Remind, Remind and Foggy. Both these players are very bad against that. Uh, like Foggy is very good against Human and decent in Night of Mirror. 
Uh, also decent first orc, but not very good against undead. Well, um, life, for example, it's very good against undead and orc, but not so good against human. So it all depends on the player. Okay, we have a fight here. 50 spike and 50. By the way, we didn't see an expansion for uh, Jack, so he's definitely going the colorful style instead of the lifestyle. Uh, not. Uh, we do have uh, hippos, by the way, on the way. I think. I think I heard a hippo, right? No, maybe I was hearing things. Uh, there was a nice uh, mana burn and a frost nova as well. There's a June invasion with 50 spike and 50. He needs the frost room, so uh, he needs the hippos. Uh, without hippos. Oh, well, actually, maybe. Does he have stand, stand a chance here? He's uh, taking the frost room. Taking a lot of damage. It's a more coil. There is no more coil. So the frost room is out of the fight. Or. Is he? He's coming back in. He has 400 hit points. He can come in to kill maybe a bear and then get out again. The Lich take a lot of damage. He does have an info potion. This bear takes so much damage. He's dead. This, uh... Well, a TP out here for, uh, for... Who are we watching? Happy. And the Lich went down. We do... I, did, I knew I heard the hippo. I was wondering why he wasn't in the fight. Maybe he's hiding them. He has double hippo building. <laughs> Night micro happy. Life is good for everything. Well, I do think uh, his first human isn't that great. Good fight by check. That was definitely a good fight by check, even though without his hippos. Well, he only had one hippo. But uh, with that hippo there. I mean, the, the, there is web. Maybe, I'm not sure if there was web already. There was one fiend, right? I think there was one fiend. Was there one fiend? I don't see a fiend body. Maybe there was no fiend. Happy is 14 supply up though. Oh, I don't like this timing on this uh, expansion. I don't like that at all. Should have either built it a long time ago. Well, he did kill the Lich. He did kill the Lich. So maybe he thinks he can get it up. Happy has uh, 300 APM. Check has uh, 177. Here comes the Frost Room's easy cancellation on this expansion. Which is not a big deal, or uh, actually no easy <laughs> cancellation exp uh, the expansion at all, but the hippos need to be careful. The fiends are waiting. So many hippos. Research finished. Research finished. And here, oh, can I cancel it now? Where are the hippos? Here they come. Doing a lot of damage. Where are the fiends? Ooh, can he get one hippo? Uh, one frost room? No. Oh, it does get a hippo. Frost know about the other hippos as well. And that is a level up there for the death knight. Death knight level four. The sleeper has awakened. Your building is complete. The tree of life is up. Can he defend this? Fifty-seven against seventy-three, but he does have hippos. So even though Happy has a lot more... Oh, Happy also has expansion. Okay. So Hippos are very supply efficient. Compared to the Frost Worms, of course, and the... And that army. Hippos are expensive for two supply units. Well, 170... 160 gold. For two supply. Like, let's compare them to a bear, for example. A bear is only 255, so two hippos is 320 gold, which is a lot more than one bear. So that's why check is behind the supply, but the army uh, strength isn't that much weaker with the hippos. Two mine on that is three and a half mine on elf, not true at all. I think this game is still very close. I definitely think Knight of Dust do a lot better if they have uh, an uh, more income than that. 
I mean, <laughs> you can set her in any situation, but um, we have seen Colorful play against Happy. One base against one, uh, against one base. So many games. Colorful won every time. So two base against two base. If there's any race that can beat on that, oh no, that's not true. I'll take that back. The hippos are one zero. False runs are one zero. The tinker's level two. Let's compare the hero levels. The death knight is level four. Lich level three. The tinker level two. Panda almost level four. He does have this uh, scourge bone charge as well. Don't forget that this is a very nice item. Help! Uh, I said I didn't like it too much earlier. But now that we have a bunch of hippos, suddenly I like this item a lot again. The hippos will uh, heal so much when they attack the false worms. He should meet wagon the entangled gold mine from his side of the river. Yeah, he could do that. Get a meat wagon. Attack the entangled gold gold mine. Colorful plays one base for than that most of the time. Yeah. Research. One base versus one base and Elvin, can you give me a link with the video please? Uh, I mean, it still, should still be somewhere in my VOD section, but don't know exactly how long ago it was, like a week ago, seven, eight, nine days ago. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to find the link right the now. How does he play? What are the timings? Haven't seen one base version that for a long time. It's uh, it's kind of weird because he just plays like bears, dryads, and hippos and demon hunter panda. Nothing. Uh, I don't. Yeah, the exact timings. I mean, what timings do you need to know? It's it's kind of like a normal, normal, normal style, except that you don't build that expansion, and instead you build the hippos a bit earlier. Hippos are important, of course. Uh, well, he gave a free abomination. Missed that. I was wondering what he was attacking. The uh, first runs are two zero, by the way. Research Ninety-two supply here for Happy, seventy-seven for Check. And is he going for it or no? It's just going for it for with the Lich. <laughs> I guess he has trouble uh, having his units here on the hold position. Oh, well, maybe he can get the entangled gold mine. Maybe not. Maybe he can. Maybe not. Maybe he can. Happy is over 80 though. Happy has a 20 supply advantage. That means he gets a lot less gold though. So the Night Elf can use uh, his income advantage here by Getting more upgrades, getting more items. He's going for the panda. Yes, going for the panda. Oh, we have a chimera. <laughs> totally missed that. A chimera here. Of course, a counter to frost worms, Kappa. I mean, I guess if you uh, could ensnare them, maybe if you had the ally that played orc. One player ensnares the uh, Fosserums, the other player kills them with Chimeras. I think Chimeras would win against Fosserums if they could attack them, right? Pretty sure they would. In the equal supply that is. Not one versus one. Eighty-nine versus ninety-nine. So ten supply advantage, but we have hippos. A lot of hippos. Our 
There's the pocket factory. He needs to spread out the hippos, please. Why does no one ever do that? Uh, first few hippos do get ensnared and killed here. We have uh, this guy, the Chimera, attacking the, the statue, of course, doing a lot of damage. He's almost dead already. Uh, it does not finish the attack now. He kills the Abomination. The hippos in the air, uh, some of them are being webbed here. The, meanwhile, the Abomination in the back there is easy target. M nice mana burn on the... Well, not nice. 25 mana burn on the Demon Hunter. The hippos have... Well, there's still a lot of hippos. And as long as there's still a lot of hippos, the Frost Worms won't do a lot of damage here against the bears and the Chimera doing just so much damage here. Check at 79. Happy at 80 is still pretty equal supply, but remember, check, uh, this, the fight started with Fly, uh, with Happy more, 10 more supply over check. There's a TP out. As you can see, it's still uh, equal supply, but I think it's looking pretty good here for check. You will also get a free expansion now. Panda and the Demon Hunter are level 4, the Lich level 3, Tinker level 2, Death Knight level 4. It does seem like the hero levels are close to leveling up though for the Night Elf. We have 3 zero upgrades now for the Frost Worms. We have 2 Chimeras. And we have the Acolytes going to build an expansion over here. This hasn't even been crept yet. He could, but he couldn't just walk this way. With his uh, Tree of Eternity... Oh, this hasn't been grabbed yet either. He's uh, creeping this with the uh, Acolytes. The Acolytes are pretty strong and pretty powerful against bandits. They're the counter to bandits. If anyone ever knows, uh, ever wants to know, how do I counter these bandits? Just go Acolytes. They're fine. I'm surprised he didn't try to harass on that expansion at all. Yeah, I wonder if he even knows about it. Did he know about it? I forgot. Is that the third Chimera? Yeah, we have three Chimeras. We have two one upgrades here. We have uh, three zero over here. So, Wisp. How many hippos? We have a few hippos. I know. He's getting the corrosive breath. Okay, so he's gonna kill this gold mine. Easy peasy. We have a shade here, by the way. It sees everything. Here comes the flank attack. He probably should also spit out these hippos a bit more if he would listen to me. If any knight of would ever listen to me. Because Frost Nova just is the only way how Undead can actually win these fights. Frost Nova. Happy went over 50. And uh, Mana Burn there on the Death Knight, I believe. And Frost Nova as well. These uh, Chimeras attacking whatever. There's a flank by the hippos. One Chimera went down pretty fast. Of course, the Fiends doing a lot of damage, but the Bears doing a lot of damage against the Chimeras. Uh, this Pocket Factory is being attacked by the Corrosive Breath. <laughs> That's so interesting. Um, but it it stays up because it, it uh, doesn't take a lot of damage. This Chimera in the back doing nothing. The Hippos getting wept. We still have a few Hippos in the air just attacking this uh, Fiend in trouble. It dies in one shot there for four Bears. The ghoul here in the front as well, also a very easy kill there. Hippos are still alive, 74 supply against 70, uh, but some of these hippos are about to die. Uh, no more mana on the li well, soon we'll have mana for one more frost nova. Do we have a scroll of regeneration? He did use the scroll of healing, uh, is what I meant, of course. There's the haste, uh, no breath of fire, because uh, he's too far away. Does he get a breath of fire? No, nope, doesn't get it off. The hippos here, are did we see a scope of healing being used or no? I think I'm just seeing things. It's just a healing of this uh, statue. Two frost runs left, but still the hippos are left. All the fiends have been killed besides one. And uh, there's a level 5 panda. Beautiful mana burn there from the level 4 demon. Hunter. kills one more statue. 70 supply against 61 now. And uh, this tree of eternity sits down over here. Meanwhile, we have the bears and the chimera killing everything over here. And this game looks pretty over to me. At least this place is unharassed. The Demon Hunter TP's out, of course, because uh, at some point he's overcommitting over here. This uh, this thing, this Frost Worm does survive. This bear does not survive. The Dryad might <laughs> try to sneak a kill there on the Frost Worm. She's trying to be a hero. This uh, bear, of course, very low on hit points as well. 
I mean, it's not game just yet. Do we still have a chance here? Maybe uh, Happy... He does get a level 3 Tinker. And a bear. Maybe he can kill this expansion over here. He has to. While well, he's rebuilding his expansion over there, there's... Uh, how many hippos do we have left? Plenty of hippos. We have some chimeras as well. There's only one fiend. Don't think Happy can win this fight, but he's gonna try. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. It's one fiend. We can wrap one of the hippos. There will be uh, seven hippos left in the air with two one upgrades to kill these frost worms. These guys are still alive here, attacking the entangled gold mine. Even uh, pulling in the wisps. Oh, there goes there went the wi wizard. Uh, one dry, take a lot of damage there. One hippo. Do oh, there goes the frost worm. And uh, what's next? The uh, tinker, by the way, can easily be killed here. There, it goes for the tinker. It didn't go for a block though. I was uh, assuming he he would try to block some with something. Oh, the hippos get to the frost worm. The frost worm is dead, man. And now the Tinker taking a lot of damage as well. Uh, these statues, if he just right click the statue, uh, it's dead. The Tinker does get away. Uh, the Fiend, there go went the last Fiend. And uh, this is GG, isn't it? This Pocket Factory, can he kill the Tree of Eternity? No. Not enough damage there. There's a Mana Burn, 38. Not really a death grade of Mana Burn, but... Starts out the Demon Hunter. You might not be able to end the game just yet. There's still two expansions up for Happy. Even though this game is gonna be won by check 100% of the time. Uh, he might still do some units over here. Overcommit a little bit. Panda standing over there. Should be killing these uh, acolytes. And these expansions. Why is it Zeppelin? It's, ra it's raining again. Just It was just shining so beautifully earlier. Uh, Panda cannot fight three heroes by himself. He might be level five. What if Happy had some Garks to fight Hippos? Good idea or bad idea? The thing is, if you're gonna make this Hippos against Garks, you need to, it, it's gonna be an all out air battle about who has more Hippos, who has more Garks. Uh, hippos are cheaper than Garks, and also uh, you have the Lich, the Night Elf has the Panda, and the Night Elf has the Scourge Bone Chimes, and the Bears with the Roar. I don't think uh, he could have won that with the Hippos, uh, with the Garks in this situation. Right, especially not with the Scourge Bone Chimes. Hippos own Garks. Yeah, I mean, I think in equal numbers they're kind of equal, but uh, Garks are more expensive than Hippos. Like a Gargoyle is uh, 185, and as you can see in Hippos only 160, both the 20 lumber I believe. No, 30 lumber for the Gargoyle, but that's not a lot. Oh yeah, Chim Chimeras have uh, Siege Attack against buildings, which is a range of uh, this one, 850, quite a lot of range. Uh, he did get the Tree of Eternity, by the way. Finally, after 100 games, Jack wins a map to in a stand. Well, he won because he uh, went Panda. <laughs> one because he went panda. <laughs> we have two one bears here. The things are three zero. This moon will take a lot of damage. Nice mana burn. Check has over double the supply. Uh, the hippos are, however, don't do anything. And one the chimera goes down. This one should be killing the statue, by the way. What is it doing? It's attacking the death knight. 
There, he attacks the statue. He two attacks, he pretty much kills it. And the bear is now killing all the fiends. So there it is, GG.